Hello everyone. Perhaps you have noticed that absolutely nothing is different or suspicious about my night. We are here today to talk about ancient, I mean enchanted fish, and a little bit about the Lady of the Lake. <coughs> Oh my god, evil voice hurts my soul and it's not even very evil. I'm transforming! Now that my transformation is complete, I can speak plainly with you about important matters. Like how I got my bomb ass fishing rod. So you want your very own Lady of the Lake. It's simple. By now you should have caught and murdered via the loot collector five ancient fish. You will use them to make a Lady of the Lake. I won't be doing that because I already did that. Don't tell me what to do. As we motorcycle to our destination, I will tell you what makes the Lady of the Lake so special. When you equip the Lady of the Lake, as opposed to all other pussy Lame, non-awesome rods. The Lady of the Lake will change the stupid, pitiful, ancient fish into enchanted fish. All other fishing rods simply unlock the permanent ability to fish in that liquid from then on. The rod only functions as style. I care nothing for style. I care only for an ancient fish carcasses for my lady of the lake. It makes her happy. And by ancient, I mean enchanted. Because... My brain is so addled from all of the murder! You're wondering, why did we come to a novice world? Is this not so beneath us? The answer is no, for in here there is peace and water. Cursed Veil Water! And accidental teleporting! Rah. As I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by magic I did not ask for. Cursed Veil Water plus Awesome Lady of the Lake equals Witchly Anemone! You may be able to use your cornerstone, but I did it this way. So let me know if a cornerstone works. Blood Knight is pleased by your sacrifices of millions of fish to the god of the lake. Holy crap. Mr. G just realized he is slated to win most of these contests. And this pleases the ghost of Captain More to no end. Alright, now that I've had my fun, let's get on to a more serious tutorial. Phoenix Fish is pretty simple, since there is absolutely no water in the Dragonfire Peaks. You must bring water to the Dragonfire Peaks. Be it an adjacent Treasure Isles tile that overlaps the water of that area with the Dragonfire Peak, because if you put your bobber in the Treasure Isle area, 
and you're fishing in the Dragonfire area, it don't really matter because you're going to get Treasure Isle stuff. So make sure you're careful where you place your bobber. Grip fish is also pretty easy. All you got to do is use your Lady of the Lake in some water that's over 200 blocks high. And I do that in my club because, like I said, I hate the sound of all the players gathering their potions, using their abilities, and throwing their bombs that I can hear from anywhere on the map. Oh my god, who designed that? The frog prints can only be located by fishing with, you know, once again, enchanted lady within water inside the fey biome. Good thing there is water friggin' everywhere in the fey biome. Just make sure you don't go too deep or you're gonna start catching the next fish. And the next fish is the deep sea mer thing. As you can guess, you need to be below 20 blocks. Just like the gob fish, if you want to catch it. Super simple. Another one I do in my club to avoid nonsensical nuisances. Anyway, that's the last fish. If you found this helpful, don't forget to leave a like. And once again, share with your fellow anglers for that sweet, sweet mastery, glim, and potentially flux if you sell some stuff and things.